Carl Friedrich Gauss was born April 30, 1777 in Brunswick, Germany. Gauss was the only son of his working class parents. As a kid, Carl's family was poor and his parents were very uneducated. At the age of three, Carl was already a child prodigy. He began correcting his dad's arithmetic mistakes. His potential was first noticed when he was seven and had just started elementary school in Germany. Carl's teacher, Mr. Bootner, asked the class to sum the numbers 1 to 100. He was able to add the numbers instantly by realizing that the sum was 50 pairs of numbers and each pair added to 101. The equation being 50 times 101 equals 5050. With the help of his elementary school teacher, Gauss started learning High German and Latin at the gymnasium. The Duke of Brunswick was amazed by Carl's abilities and sent him to the Collegium Carolinum when he was just 15. Three years later, he was sent to the University of Groningen. While there, Gauss was the first to create a shape with 17 sides called the 17 gon, and he found this by using the prime number theory. With every discovery he made, Gauss supported with multiple proofs. At the age of 21, he finally completed his first book, Discussiones Arithmeticae, about the number theory. The Duke of Brunswick passed away in 1801, making Gauss the director of the Göttingen Observatory. While there, he was able to determine the orbit of the asteroid Ceres. He also predicted its position and taught others how to predict orbits of other celestial bodies. Gauss stayed at the observatory for the remainder of his life. Along with astronomy and number theory, he also largely contributed in non-Euclidean geometry. In fact, Gauss is actually credited with the first idea of the subject. He found that the geometry of a curved line is a two-dimensional non-Euclidean geometry. In 1809, Gauss's first wife, Johanna Osthorff, died, leading to a depression he never fully recovered from. He soon married again to Johanna's friend, Frederica Waldeck. She died later in 1831 from an illness. Gauss had three children with each wife. With Johanna, he had Joseph, Wilhelmina, and Louis. While with Frederica, he had Eugene, Wilhelm, and Therese. None of his kids followed in his footsteps because he felt they would lower the family name if they entered mathematics. In the late 1820s, Carl was offered a job to teach at Berlin University. He denied the job because he never enjoyed teaching. In his later years, Gauss worked with Wilhelm Weber in physics. Together they achieved many things and also built a telegraph that could send messages over 5,000 feet. Gauss spent six years updating the Göttingen University Widows Fund. A few years later, his work began to slow down. During his lifetime, he wrote over 100 books on math, proofs, and memoirs. On February 23, 1855, Carl Gauss died in his sleep. To this day, he is known as the Prince of Mathematics.